Hey friends, it's Lisa. Welcome and thank you for watching another one of my videos. So today I am going through some of my items that I have boxed and I am trying to unbox some of my things and put them in their homes, their places where they will be. And it's tough because I am an awful unpacker. I am the type of person that I am quite comfortable leaving things packed unless they are things that I absolutely need on a daily basis and only going to that box if I need said items. And that is a habit that I am really trying to get out of. I have a lot of things that are in boxes and my goal is to get rid of them, as in get rid of those boxes. So I have cardboard boxes and I have plastic totes. And my ultimate goal is to get rid of all the things, not all the things, get rid of cardboard boxes because those can disintegrate and they can get wet, bugs can get in them, and worst come to worst, only have plastic totes. One of the totes that I am working on this morning is this plastic tote that has some of my extra makeup. I enjoy makeup and now that we are getting back into a more normal pre-COVID existence, I like to wear lip color. Couldn't wear that when I had mask. I tried once and it was a horrible, horrible uh, experiment. And I have a lot of stuff that I actually haven't touched in months. Like I haven't touched it since pre-COVID probably because it just wasn't something that I reached for. And this box contains the majority of those items. My daily go-to foundation and eye makeup, lip stuff, like that's out because that's stuff that I reach for. But in here we have some stuff that I had packed when I moved originally, didn't touch, and basically have moved back. And I don't want it to sit in a plastic tote because that's stupid. And I can use this tote for other storage. So we're gonna go ahead and we're going to go through what is in here and maybe declutter some items. So here is the box with various things. This right here is Milo. He is laying down. He is my ultimate best friend and co-host. So um, he's helping me through this. All right, so the first thing, we'll just go through these bags first. Don't mind this carpet. This carpet is the world's worst carpet. It was here when we moved in and uh, it's very, like anything you touch, anything that touches it stains it. And we are eventually going to get new carpet, but it's like low on the list of things. First up is this very dirty translucent setting powder from Laura Mercier. Honestly, I can't tell you the last time that I've worn this, so I'm going to declutter it. This is a Flower Beauty blush, Flower Pot powder blush in PB4 Warm Hibiscus. I'm currently into the cream blushes, so I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this. Maybe it's just easier if I push all of the stuff here into the frame so you can see it. All right, so the other thing is another Flower Beauty blush in PB1 Sweet Pea. I'm gonna go ahead and declutter it. I'm going to declutter this e.l.f. eyebrow pencil. I think this is still pretty good. This is the MAC Paint Pot in Fair Study. I've only used it once or twice, so I think I'm gonna keep this. I'm going to declutter this Sephora brand blush in So Euphoric. This is another one of the paint pots. I'm gonna open this up. Yeah, it looks really, like I barely have used these, um, but they're pretty good. So um, this is so Soft Okra, so I'm gonna keep this. Ugh, this is the Fenty Beauty um, highlighter stick in, oops, in Trippin. I, I remember getting this when Fenty Beauty came out in Sephora and it was it was like an experience. Oh, look at that highlighter. All right, I'm, I might keep that for right now. 
Although it's been a couple years, so it might be, you know, I should potentially get rid of it. I have hit pan on this finishing powder from NYX. This is in banana, so I'm gonna get rid of this. Um, this is the NYX Pink Lust Pencil Lip Liner. I don't really use this, so I'm gonna get rid of it. This is from ColourPop. This is when they had the like bright different color mascaras. Uh, it's so dry, but it was pink and I've worn it a couple times, but I am gonna get rid of it. <laughs> this is from Maybelline. This is the Shaping Lip Liner in Clear. I looked so hard for a clear lip liner and I found it, but this one breaks. Like as soon as you go to put it on your lips, it breaks, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Uh, Okay, this is from ELF. This is one of those like lip scrubby things, lip exfoliators, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Ugh, okay, oh my gosh, I love this, but it's probably very old. This is the NYX Liquid Gold Prismatic Shadow. I went through a journey because I, they had this other type of liquid eyeshadow that I really loved. I couldn't find it at Ulta. I went to an ELF store not Elf, NYX, NYX. I went to a NYX store in the mall and they told me it was discontinued and this was kind of comparable to it. So I bought this back in the day and I definitely have worn this so much, but I'm gonna get rid of it. Ah, my Stila. This is in um, Dollish and this is the Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. Ah, uh, I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna get rid of it, it kills me though. Okay, this is the e.l.f. Illuminating Eye Cream. Um, let's see. It still has the cap on it, and it still looks pretty good. I don't think it's that old. So I'm gonna... I do have the IT Cosmetics Confidence in an Eye Cream now. Um, so... Um, I'm gonna... Maybe it? Maybe? <gasps> the Jelly the jelly pop from elf the stuff i really like this is the second tube and i couldn't find it for a while this is the dew primer i'm gonna keep this okay so these <laughs> are from house laboratories which is lady gaga's brand um as you can see and these are the um uh, la riot lip glosses and this one is in Venus, this one's in Blaze. I've worn them a couple times. I actually couldn't find them, and that's because they were in this box. Um, but they seem like they're still not that bad. I got these last year, like bef right before COVID started. So they're not, they're like a year and a couple months old, so I'm gonna keep these. All right, now we're gonna go with this second bag. All right, so this is from e.l.f. This is one of their bite-sized eyeshadows. This is the Hot Jalapeno. I want to keep this. It's a nice little quad. I love I love gold and I love this like chartreuse green. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna keep this. This um, I'm gonna get rid of. I when I get really stressed out, I get fever blisters, or if I get run down, I get fever blisters. So I try to always carry fever blister medicine like somewhere on my person. Um, I'm gonna get rid of that because old. All right, this says it expired on 12 of 2020. This was the Infallible Brush Wear Foundation in the shade um, 445. I'm gonna get rid of that. Oh, this kills me. Um, this is old pack, I mean, not old packaging, it was valid when I got it, but this is the Kat Von D Hydrating Primer and Base. Um, I am gonna get rid of it because it's kind of old. Kills me though. I am going to get rid of this. It was like an elf. I think this was lip makeup remover. I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, I should have. I was at Ulta today. I should have bought more eye primer. I did not, but I am gonna get rid of this ultimate uh, eye primer from Flower Beauty. This I remember. I actually did not like. This is the Maybelline Cheek Heat. It was very. I just don't like if I remember correctly the way the product. I feel like it pilled a lot or something. I just wasn't happy with it, and I have other cream blushes that make me happy, so I am gonna get rid of this. This is the 0.5 fluid ounce container of Kat Von D foundation. Um, this was in the shade M52 Warm. This is like serious, heavy 
full coverage foundation, which I don't currently wear, so I am gonna get rid of this. This is from e.l.f. This is a Moonlight Pearls. This is the highlighter. I think I'm gonna get rid of this. Ah! This is from the Disney collection from ColourPop, and I'm probably going to drop it, but this was this was an eyeshadow, but it's not, it's not as, um, this is the Super Sock shadow in Hi Ho. It's just, I don't know. I, I don't reach for it, so I'm gonna get rid of it. This butter bronzer from Physicians Formula, I have hit pan on. I don't really wear bronzer right now, so I'm gonna get rid of this. Ah! I am going to keep this. This is the, it's a dirty top, but this is the Peach Perfect magnifying loose setting powder. I heard that they're actually discontinuing the whole Peach Perfect line, so I'm gonna keep this because I love it. This is from NYX. This is the eyeliner that has two tips on it. There's a felt tip, there's a pencil liner. I don't think that's this, <laughs> I don't think this is that old, but because it's eye makeup, I mean, I know I kept the eyeshadow, but this would be going on my eye, my waterline. I'm gonna get rid of this. I am gonna buy a new one. Um, and this is from Kat Von D. This is the Lolita lip liner. I'm gonna get rid of this. All right, so now we have from Bare Minerals, this is the Blemish Rescue Skin Clearing Loose Powder Foundation. It's been a hot minute since I've worn this. I'm gonna get rid of this. This was something I bought from Ulta Beauty. It was this pan. I'm gonna keep this, but basically um, you can clean your brushes by rubbing them and then you just wash the sponge every so often and it helps you uh, change your powder, like the color of the brush without actually fully washing the brush. I'm gonna keep this. Okay, so this was a little wooden unit thing that I bought at Ikea. I'm probably gonna keep this. So I'm just gonna go through here. This I've never even opened yet because when I bought them, uh, I bought three, it was like buy one, get two free or something crazy like that. But this is the LA Girl Pro Sponge. Um, I like these. I have one currently right now in my bathroom. I like that it comes with these little stands, which I think is really awesome. So I'm going to keep this. I have Scalp Revival free sample. I've never used it. I'm actually going to get rid of it. This is the Ofra Nikki Tutorials Highlighting Trio. Oh my god, I can't even open it. It's like, dang, bright. Um, I don't really reach for highlighters like this. And also, Ofra's probably, problem it's like, they're problematic, or at least the owner's problematic, so. But I already paid for this. So that's the problem, when you have stuff where like, the people are problematic. Um, but I don't really reach for this, so I think I'm going to declutter it, maybe? I should just declutter it. I don't, I don't ever reach for highlighter. Sorry, bugs. Um, this is prescription. This is Milo's prescription. I just, I just want to like. Actually, I can't even show it to you because it has my address. But basically, my dog's medicine from Walgreens says Milo, dog last name. <laughs> I just think it's hilarious. Um, this is from Estee Lauder. This is the Double Wear Light in 2W1 Dawn. I really like this nice and light so I'm gonna keep this Ugh, it pains me so as I said a few minutes ago I heard that Too Faced is discontinuing peach perfect altogether I love this foundation like I this is maybe my second at least my second tube of it this is golden beige I really like this foundation um, I haven't used it in a really long time so I am not actually even sure that it is still good um, I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna get rid of it because I probably had it for a while and that's not good. This is from Clinique. I think I got this as part of my birthday gift last year from Sephora. This is the cleansing foam um, and this is the all over treatment. So there's like step one, step two, or step one and step three. I don't know where step two is. Um, I'm gonna get rid of it. <laughs> This is a ColourPop Just the Tint, just a tint in Treasure Island. I like these. I have another one that I use all the time. The only reason why I haven't used this one is probably because I couldn't find it. So I'm gonna keep this. This is my dog's medicine. Actually, I don't remember what it's, I think it's for his eyes. It's been a while, so I'm, I'm gonna get rid of that. This is from Catrice Cosmetics. It is a darkening um, drop. So you just put this mixer, so you put it in with your foundation. I, I had a problem, I do have a problem finding like 
my shade so I actually have whiteners and darkeners but I've had this for like at least a year or two and I've been currently using the same foundation which is pretty good for my skin at least I think so so I'm gonna get rid of this last but not least in this container I have this foundation from Rare Beauty. This is the shade 260N. I just bought this in September when it, when the Rare Beauty line came out at Sephora. So I don't necessarily love this foundation, but uh, I do want to kind of give it a couple more chances since I paid a lot of money for it. So I'm going to keep this. The only other thing that was in this container is this free sample, sample of Valentino Adana perfume. And so I'm going to keep it because I like keeping these samples to just use up. So I just went ahead and put all the things that I'm keeping back in this container that I got from Ikea and all of that stuff, I, <laughs> all of that stuff I am going to be throwing out now, today. And Milo did not move at all. I did not disturb him. So that's great. If you liked any of this or found any of the information helpful, please think about giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing. And until next time, I hope you guys all stay well. Bye.